There's a net zero accelerator. It's right there. It's in this fund. $8 billion. And you don't know the target, the emissions reduction target for $8 billion. It's coming out this afternoon. Uh, the commissioner's report listed the net zero accelerator fund as a measure to meet the government's emissions reductions targets. Commissioner, has the government revealed to you what the internal emission reduction target is for the $8 billion net zero accelerator fund? Yes or no? So thank you for the question. Um, we anticipate that there would be some questions regarding our new net zero accelerator initiative report. And Monsieur Lequin is here to address those questions. It was just a simple yes or no. Have you seen that? Yes. Yes. You have? Yes. So what is it? This is a cabinet confidant, so we cannot share this information. You have to ask the department. I can't hear him, Chair. Oh, oh sorry. So I'll move closer to the mic. So yes, we have seen the number, and is this number is in the uh, it's cabinet confident. It's in the uh, MC and TBS. So, uh, so you can't tell us what the eight billion dollars net zero accelerator fund is reducing by emissions because of cabinet confident. So in the in the it's a report, secret. I'm sorry. Like, so who in cabinet? What what department gave you that that I direct said, that letter? I said, innovation, science, economic development. Okay. Are we, however, we noted in the report that in the e two c modeling, the net zero accelerator initiative is expected to have a nineteen to twenty megaton reduction. In the okay, so Mr. Trombley, my question is simple. What is the government's emission reduction target for specifically for the $8 billion net zero accelerator fund? I think the answer has to be, and the question has to be asked to my colleagues that I said, I'm sorry. So, Deputy Minister, your minister oh. and his mandate letter actually states, and here I'll read it to you, support the Minister of Innovation and Science and in the implementation of the Net Zero Accelerator Initiative, with the emphasis on ensuring that investments drive industrial transition and significant reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. That's in his mandate letter. And you can't tell me anything about the targets, internal targets for this fund for $8 billion. As it was said, there was, there was numbers that were included in the ERP, Regarding exactly the functions and how it works for these programs, the accountability is is with the Department of ICED. We're there to support them, but we're not there to speak on their behalf, on their programs, and the way they manage them. So it would be more appropriate for the uh, Department of ICED to answer these questions. Mr. Major, just just uh, just hold on. I'm I'm going to ask the clerk to just turn the volume up. I'm getting reports from people who can't hear online and in, in the room. So if we can get the volume turned up significantly so we can hear. I always hear you. It seems to be those down there. All right. Well, if, try yeah, go ahead. You have, three, you have three minutes. So, Mr. Trombley, do you know the target? Hey, the documents that were shared with the auditor are documents that they share. I didn't see those documents. I am not the ones who participated in the in the collection of the comments. Do you, I do you know the target? You I don't. don't. So you're not. not a, I came here for. To... I came here for an audit on something different, and you're raising an issue about the net zero accelerator, which I think should be answered by my colleagues. Yes. So that on this, I'm glad you brought that up because this is report six that the commissioner did. In it, there's a whole host of different type of projects that are in for to reduce emissions in Canada. We're talking about one of these out of all these lists, there's a net zero accelerator. It's right there. It's in this fund, $8 billion. And you don't know the target, the emissions reduction target for $8 billion. I'm telling you that it is more appropriate for the Department of ICED to answer your questions about how they, man how they manage their programs, the objective of their programs, and the result they expect. This is our accountability. You, you are the so you are the top official in Environment Climate Change Canada, and is responsible for emissions reductions. And you don't know the target. 
I'm telling you that if they didn't give yes the, no. if they didn't give the information, it's not for me to reveal the information. Whatever it is, it's for think, them to do it. Do you think the Canadians deserve a right to know? No comments. I'm not even part of those discussions. So that I think it's more appropriate to ask our friend that I said to answer that question. Okay. Much time, Chair. 90 seconds. That's good. I'll pass.